Hello and welcome to the Flipping and Wholesaling Houses in New York show. I am Michael Pinter, where I teach you how to start flipping or wholesaling houses in New York, or if you're already doing it, how to grow your business. Got a question that says, can you wholesale a deal that's listed by an agent because the owner is deceased? So there's two parts here that I want to talk about. It's very hard to wholesale a deal that's listed. It's not impossible, but it's pretty close to impossible because a few things. Number one is if it's listed for sale, well, I've said this before, but if a property is listed for sale and not selling, it's because the price is too high. Now, that is always the case, whether you realize it or not. I know most people don't agree with that, and they think, well, maybe a house is in a crappy location, maybe a house is in crappy condition, maybe it's a bad house. There is a price for every house. So if you're listed and it's not selling, it's because you're listed too high. If you lowered the price at some point, somebody would buy it, sight unseen, wherever the hell it is, whatever condition it's in. So usually, you're going to have to pay significantly less than what it's listed for. And that's not an easy thing to do. Right, because as an agent involved, also they're already paying commission. They look at it as well. You know, if they've listed it for X price, they believe they're going to get close to that price. Most people do anyway. That's number one. That's the first problem with the listed pro uh, property. Second problem with wholesaling it is even if you got it at a significant discount, right? So let's say there's a house out there. They're asking four hundred thousand dollars for it, and you are the only person who offers two hundred thousand dollars for it, and you get it for two hundred thousand. The pro, I mean, that's that's a big stretch. Let's go better. Let's say better. Let's say they're asking $400,000 and it's really worth $400,000, but nobody can get in and you get it for three hundred, dollars and that's a good deal for a wholesale. At that point, for you to then put it out to your buyer's list, they're all going to see that it's listed and they're going to wonder what the hell is going on. Most people want off-market properties. They don't want properties that are listed. So that's a pr another problem. The second thing is you can't put it on the market. You can't put it on MLS if it's already on MLS. So you're limited to how you can uh, put it out there. But in general, it's very, very hard to wholesale something that is listed on the MLS. I don't even, I usually don't even buy something, right? Even if I'm going to close on it, if it's listed on the MLS. I tell sellers all the time. They tell me, oh, the house is listed. I go, listen, if it's listed, it's very unlikely we're going to do business. I tell them that all the time. Sometimes they ask why, sometimes they hang up the phone. I don't care. But that's the truth. It's very unlikely that I'm going to buy a house that's listed on the MLS. It happens. It's happened a dozen times, but very unlikely. Now, the second part of the question is what is the, the owner is deceased. Now, owner being deceased is fine. The issue in New York is that we're a probate state and there's a process to transfer ownership from the deceased to the heirs. So you just got to look into whether that's done or not. You know, was there a will? Was someone was someone appointed um, uh, as an administrator or as an executor? And has that process gone through? You might need to, I've hired trust and estate attorneys to help me with situations like that. It happens. Um, so you need to know that part of it, right? Now, the owner being deceased, I don't know what that means. Sometimes they've already, it was in a trust and it doesn't matter. So you really need to look at what's going on with the situation. So is it possible to wholesale a house that's listed for sale when the owner's deceased? The listing for sale is the part that kills it for me. Um, you might be able to buy it, close on it, and then wholesale it or or rehab it. Um, but the fact that the owner's deceased is, is very unclear to me whether that's something that's going to be a problem or not. It really depends on the legality of what happened with transferring the ownership. Who owns the property right now? Is it owned by an estate? Sometimes if it's already owned by a state, the estate can sell the property. Um, is it already been probated through to the heirs? What's going on? Was it owned in a trust in advance so that it's still in the trust? These are the things you got to ask when somebody tells you some, the owner's dead. I hope this was helpful. Um, you know, I always make a face because I, I don't really always understand um, the questions. And sometimes when I don't understand them, I hope I answer them correctly. Um, I hope. If you're interested in getting help from me, you go to howtoflipnewyork.com. If you're interested in coaching, go to coaching.howtoflipnewyork.com. If you're watching on YouTube, please subscribe. If you like these videos, please click like. I really appreciate the thumbs up. The uh, likes uh, help my SEO, my search engine optimization. Many, many more people are seeing my videos now than used to see them because of the likes that you've been putting in there. So please keep liking them. It really means a lot to me. And please keep the comments coming. This came from a comment that was re relatively recent. If you have an older comment where I haven't gotten to it, I will get to it yet. I have a, literally go through all my comments. Some of them, I look at them and, I, I, and, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm reluctant to answer because I think it's, it's just so vague. I don't know. But uh, keep the comments coming. I will get to them. Sometimes I'll just reply with an answer. Sometimes I'll reply with a YouTube video, with a uh, link to a video that I've done. And sometimes I'll do a video on it like I'm doing today. But please keep the comments coming. I really appreciate them. To be honest, when I I, I go live five times a week, sometimes I don't know what the hell I'm going to say. So I go to these, I go to the, my list of comments and that helps me and gives me guidance as to what to say. So I really appreciate it. Um, keep the comments coming. Thank you very, very much for watching.